welcome back to my channel get creative with polymy today we'll be doing an acrylic ship painting for that i have some acrylic colors some brushes 8 by 10 inch canvas which i have primed with uh, acrylic wash and i'm using a masking tape for the horizon so let's start so i'm using ultramarine blue and white for the sky we will keep the sky and the water very simple as the focal point of the painting is the ship after the sky is completely dry after 15 minutes i'm adjusting the masking tape to paint the water we'll be using telo blue and white to paint the water later we'll come back and uh, give some reflections of water with the telo blue and white this is a step by step painting tutorial which i have captured for beginners I have mentioned all the colors I have used in this painting in the description box. Keep the horizon of the sky light and keep the horizon of the water deep. So now that my sky and water is ready with a pencil I will lightly draw the ship. Now that my drawing is ready, we'll start painting the ship. The first color I'm using is crimson. I'm using crimson here and not red and also would be using some darker colors to depict the shadow area. Friends, if you like my painting and my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell icon for future videos. Now I'm using a mix of thalo green and thalo blue to get a deep green. So now we'll be painting the upper part of the ship and I've started by using a grey color. I have mixed uh, thalo blue, thalo green, orange and crimson and white to get this grey color. You can directly use white and black to get a grey color. And wherever uh, light is reflecting, I will put direct titanium white. Also, I'll be putting purple along with the grey to depict the cloth texture and the shadow. Remember, this is a cloth and not a hard wood or a metal. So we have to keep it soft. I would like to keep the painting a little loose so you can see I'm not merging the colors too well. I'll keep the brush strokes seen and also putting some thick paint to get some effect.
as I have just mentioned earlier, uh, putting some purple along with the grays to depict the shadow area, also keeping it very loose. To paint the wood, I'm using burnt umber and white. Now using pure titanium white, highlighting the light effects. Again putting some grays and going back and forth with white to adjust the texture of the cloth. Now the fun part begins. Using burnt umber which is a deep brown and black, we'll be highlighting the painting, putting some random structures, some random strings and ropes, windows, doors to make this painting interesting. It'll look complicated but doing this is very easy. Keep your brush strokes really loose to give a very nice effect. Here I am putting white to show the waves and the reflection. Now putting direct yellow blue for more details in the water. Finally, we'll be completing the painting by putting some red flags. So our ship painting is ready. If you like my painting and my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Stay home, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.